podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Hey, I feel I'm the best in the sport, and to be the best, you got to be the best. To be one champion, one face, one name, his name is Deontay Wilds. Boxingwoods.com. It's the fact that I've been one that keeps them for the longest time. 110%. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. I'll beat Wilder as well. Boxingwoods.com. Well. I'm scared of what he's eating every time. I'm just sitting here. Every time. You know, I am the most feared. And if I'm not, then I want somebody to shut me up. I want somebody to prove that to me. I want to I, I wanna be proven wrong. But for right now, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like nobody's going to prove me wrong. Who has the guts? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs, joined alongside Marco Boxing, and we're here to discuss this weekend's action with William Cepeda and everything that's come from it. Since then, we've had uh, Bob Arum, Shakur Stevenson, Abdullah Mason, and I think that's about it. But they're all talking... Everybody wants to see Shakur versus William Cepeda. And Bob Arum is saying he can get that fight done. And if Oscar just gives him a phone call, they can get that fight done for July. So um, that would be Shakur's last fight on his contract. And that would be Bob Arum being a great guy, getting Shakur a big fight like that on the way out. Hopefully that means Bob would be trying to re-sign him. If not, Shakur exits top rank with a big fight in William Cepeda. I don't believe that happens, Marco. As I said yesterday, I think Cepeda and his team will opt to wait out uh, George Cambosos and the winner of Vasil Lomachenko to see um, can they get a shot at the older legend who's also a southpaw that they've also have been already facing two southpaws thus far. So, just sounds like that's a better route, you know? Marcos? And I think he's not gone. Marcos? Yeah, right? So, um, yeah, this is what we're talking about. We got a few tweets we need to screen share. The first one being... um, the confirmation from Boxing Scene in an article with Bob Arum. Uh, this is that shit. Always the same. This is that. And it says, Bob Arum has now welcomed the possibility of Shakur Stevenson versus William Sabeda happening next. And I quote, open quote, let Oscar De La Hoya call me and I'll get that fight done for July. We have a date. July 6th, the Prudential Center is reserved. We certainly would consider him. Now, consider him doesn't sound as, um, you know, confident as we'll get it done for July and the, the, you know, earlier. But I think that if they're willing to change the date, maybe... Oscar and William would be interested because, um, you know, they can now look for neutral ground. But if you're talking about going to Shakur's hometown on his date, I don't know that they're interested in that. Um, 
and wouldn't rather prefer neutral territory and fresh negotiations. Again, this is a Shakur date. It's already a Shakur party. Uh, but if you're William Sepeda, it is a WBC title shot. Uh, does he take it really is the question, and that's what we're asking everybody that's tuning in, present, past, or in the future if you're in Australia. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget the quicker we get to 500 thumbs up, the faster we open up the live chat right now. Members only salute to all the members that get early release on all of our videos and on all of our uh, exclusive content. So um, Twitter Spaces is available. Discord is available if you want to call in and voice your opinion. Looks like Marco Boxing finally joined us. What's going on, my friend? What's up, man? You guys having some audio problems. I could see you, but I couldn't hear you. I see. You're back now. Back. So what's what's the, what the deal? We're talking Zepeda? We're talking Zepeda, man, and, and the fact that Shakur and Bob are offering him a title shot for July 6th in the Prudential oh. Center. Um, obviously, oh. you know. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. He reminds me of, you know, Slow your roll when I say this, but he reminds me a little bit of Chavez. A little bit. Who's Cepeda. that? Cepeda? Uh, he reminds me of Chavez a little bit. Julio Cesar, that is. Nah, man, think? tell us, man. You're the old guy on the show. Tell us, what is it that all you right. see? First of all, I finally got you old. Got you by like two years, so let's slow your roll with the old guy stuff. He but, said two years, this guy. He's three years right. older for sure, without a doubt. Yeah, I think more. You're, I'm 47, so I think I got you by like five years, but whatever. Fine wine. Um... He, his, his, his attack is so uh, tenacious and he switches up body to head, head to body. But one thing I've seen is a pay that I've only seen him fight a few times, but he actually has a crazier output than Chavez. He throws more punches. Yeah. I mean, he is more ferocious. Well, Chavez was more of a party ferocious. guy, right? This guy is, he's still, you know what I'm saying? He's still in okay. his infancy of his of his career. Um, he trains with Matias as a stable mate. He spars with him. You know, they're in the mountains, so they're getting that 13,000 feet elevation. So uh, a lot of their training and, and, and the activity, you know, gets accredited to where they're doing that camp at and who they're doing it with in Coach Panda, who, you know, basically has two guys that fight the similar, I won't say the same, but similar, and you know, are considered, you know, guys that will stop you or yeah. slow you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I mean, I guess, I guess he's a little more dedicated. You're saying than Chavez was. Um, I mean, I mean, certainly here in the beginning of his career, right? Like comparing it to different parts of Chavez's career. Yeah, but, like, how old is Zepeda? I would have to check, but certainly in his 20s, I want to hope. At, no no older than 27, but give me a sec. Okay, so let's – okay, you check it, but let's say he's 27. At 27, Chavez was, like, 70 and 0 or some crazy 27. Shit. 27? Okay. Yeah, Zepeda so, is 27. And, and at 27, yep. Chavez was probably fighting Meldrick Taylor. He, he might have even been – what was he when he fought Taylor? 69 and 0? I mean, damn. So it's hard to compare. But also back then, people I mean, I mean, look, you know, him fighting Meldrick Chella at that age is is great for Chavez because he had the experience. If you're looking at, 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 at Willem Cepeda, you know, he's got half of that experience that you're saying Chavez had when he got in there with Teller. So, mm -hmm. you know, today's show is saying that in half of that time, he's willing to get in there with a generational talent. Or rather, the question is, will he get in there with a generational talent like Shakur and take that risk? Um, is the risk worth the reward, right? Because, yes, you lose, you know, you risk losing, but you can get that WBC coveted title. You can beat someone that people have you as an underdog and believe is, once again, a generational talent, right? So, Tupac Shakur Stevenson gets a lot of praise out here. Well, that's the question. Like, does that... 
ferocious, voracious offense where he goes body, head, head, body, angles, just hop to the side, nonstop, and the power's there. Can sh- can that catch up to Shakur? Because Shakur has proved to be excellent at staying away, staying within range. Can using what those catch feet. up to him, though? I'm, I'm lost. Can what catch up? Can Zepeda's offense, can he catch Shakur? Because Shakur can stay away from the best of them. He I has. think I think eventually, yeah. I mean, he like like probably like um, Valdez. He's gonna have to take a few licks to land. But his output is more than Valdez. He uses a jab for starters. Um, well, those well that output breaks Shakur down because guys like that chop you. Well, when you fight you someone close. as good as Shakur, your output definitely decreases. So we would have to see what version of Cepeda is gonna actually show up versus. Uh, an elite level fighter like Shakur, um, but I believe that the style gives anyone problems. You know, um, it, it gives anyone. And like, what do we know about his punch resistance? Because we know Shakur will hit you, but we know he won't hit you that hard. So, well, we don't know that is- he stopped Harry, and uh, and, and he, he stopped did. Shoshino, a, a natural thirty five pounder. That's a good know? point. But that was more of like. Herring's corner, right? Or the ref stopped it. Herring was okay. He was getting just hit a lot, but they I weren't mean, hard. Listen, I don't care late. if you knock a guy out or you make him quit because you're fucking tenderizing his ass like a piece of right. meat. It is what it is. Oh, no, you're right. I, I guess a lot of people have Shakur's last, including me, his last fight in their heads, but he doesn't usually fight like that. So that's something that we need to remember. Yeah, only versus punches. So again, this fight may reveal that old Shakur. Because Zepeda... Well, he had his hand hurt, supposedly, the last fight. Yeah, but not versus Nakadilia and Joet. And, and, and you know, if anything, uh, Zepeda is Joet on steroids, you know. No pun intended, obviously, in this sport. That's not something to play with. But, I mean, he's like, you know, Joet times 10. But, Danny, what is up? What's your thoughts, man? You think this is a pipe dream? You think, you know, Bob is just doing his normal rounds, promoting his fighter, or can we really get Zepeda in July? Anybody want to count the amount of months? Because they say Canelo makes you turn around pretty fast. Would this be a fast turnaround or no? What were we in March 18th, April 18th, May 18th, June? Oh, no, that's plenty of time, July 6th. That's four months. Yeah, that's plenty of time, not a fast turnaround. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... And at the end of the day, what punishment does the pay to take? You know, what, uh, you know, it was a very easy night for him. So, uh, I'm sure three and a half. He certainly dished it three, out. Yeah, definitely dished out the punishment. But uh, I think three and a half months is a realistic comeback. Uh, you know, for what would be the biggest fight of his career at this point, you know, I'd be for it. I think it'd make for a very intriguing fight. Um, and one that I think would be an entertaining fight, if I'm being quite honest, don't burn yourself. Uh, yeah, I just a big flame. I'm like, oh, shit. but yeah, I think it'd be an entertaining fight for sure. Is that Shakur's toughest fight thus far? Thus far, um, I mean, on paper, on paper, you can't paper, argue. Yeah, you like, like people could try and say on paper, Valdez is like more accomplished because he's multiple division, but like on paper, the style matchups say that Zepeda would give more issues. But let's let the the boxer tell us. Good morning, Troy. What you thinking? Zepeda causes Shakur some issues. And the secondary, I mean, the main question is, does Cepeda take the fight? Because obviously it's Shakur and Bob. They got their date. They want him to come to Shakur's hometown. So it's not like there are reasons why I can see Team Cepeda saying no. Um, If that's the case, is he with the Zepeda? Zepeda's with Golden Boy, right? Correct. Oh, yeah. Is he uh, on the A-list at Golden Boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, it just really depends because uh, Shakur was an Olympian. He's he's the American. He's the United States fighter. 
So he's going to get the, you know, the first dibs and all of that. But Zapata is, uh, as far as the stylistic matchup, this is the thing I, I'll go back and forth with when I'm thinking about boxing and two left-handers. When you fight another left-hander, it's more easy to fight, like, in a shell like Floyd. And, you know, the, the black fighters like to do that. What makes... What make can make it hard and easy for Shakur is that Zapata is left-handed also, if I'm not mistaken. He's very he those fundamental punches. And his punches are easier to catch from a defensive standpoint because the jab won't come like the jab come right there. And then Shakur could use the shoulder to block the left. And then he could just catch the hook. And don't it don't matter if he try to switch it up. His his defensive ability is really good. So Troy, would you say you're a lefty, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So as a would you say as a lefty? Because for me, it's obviously as a right hander, I was used to fighting right handers. So when a lefty would come in, it'd be an adjustment for you. Does it throw as a lefty? Does it throw more of a challenge to fight a fellow lefty because you're so used to fighting only right handers, or no? No, because I watch Floyd a lot, and when Floyd fight right handers, he'd be in the shell like this. So. If I'm fighting another lefty, I don't have to fight in this, in the fencing style, tying up the jab hand. I could jab regularly because his his jab it needs to be blocked with my left hand. And then when he throw the left, I could catch it here, catch okay. it here. When he throw the hook, I could catch it here. Now you see how I'm kind of like in the shell, and that's because the hook is coming. And that can make it easier for Shakur. In this fight, Shakur should stay on the inside. Because Ooh. the left-handedness, you could catch the punches and learn easier and roll with it. How it listen? He doesn't do that though. Shakur is very he, I, he hops that's, in that's and That's the corny shit. That's why I don't like that because yeah, he hops in and out. Some fighters that you have to give the fans what they want, and when he's a left, and it's not like I don't think Zapata can knock out Shakur. Shakur could always mix and match and switch it up, use his feet, get out of there, stay in the pocket, some. You really got to watch Floyd, bro. Like, I can't cap. Like, Floyd has a very technical style, and he does a little bit of everything. He'll get in there with you, and then he'll come out of there and go back to the— Shakur has those abilities. He should, he needs to get on that. But just keep hopping back like Ness say, that's a, I used to do that. That's an amateur thing because you don't want to get hit, and the first thing you do is you use your athleticism instead right. of the skill— but and he you does hop back. Fuck. Yeah, he hops I know. Back he, quickly. I'm, that's amateur. I used to do that because I wasn't comfortable being in there. Well, you drain a lot of energy doing that. It's better to stay in the pocket, use waste right. energy. Right. And but, plus, that's, but that's what he power, does. Shakur's power ness and Dan <clears throat> is in medium range. He can get that off because he throw technical punches. If he stay in the pocket, he could be running them shots up under – Come, come with them coming up under, catching the punches, coming back, coming this up. This guy, I think Zapata's not somebody you want to stay in the pocket with. Shit, the type of fighter I am, he, if he was wild, no. You need the power to, I think, okay, here's what I think. I think you need the power to get the respect of Zapata in the pocket. I don't think Shakur has that, that kind of power. I don't think, I, you know what I, I would combat that with? Nah, well, I, I think, think you think... deceiving. So you you miss you miss. <coughs> yeah, you know... I, I was about to say what what, what Ness about to say. <coughs> Floyd kept Canelo off of him. It wasn't because Floyd had crazy power. It's the fact that he could hit that chin with accuracy, yeah. right? And you don't see it. Yeah, yeah, the punch placement. Yeah, I think That's you're underestimating Shakur's uh, power. I haven't seen anybody walk him down. Granted. He ain't been in there with no margarito. This will be the first type of margarito do. Um, mm. But, like, he really made, uh, 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 what's his name, Valdez. I, I, I've seen power there. Like, Valdez, you know, that shit looked like it hurt. Margarito, yeah, that is, he is a similar, but he's he's on a different level, man. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. Hopefully he I mean, Margarito that. was on a different level. I, I got a counterpunch. I don't <laughs> think... I don't think Zepeda is as uh, ferocious. When I, when I meant different level, I don't mean better or worse. I mean he, he throws more punches than Margarito. For sure. I think. 
for sure. But Margarito was like right. fucking a- uh, intentionally brutal with his shots, bro. My but man he- ripped the ear off in, on, on ESPN. Here's a fun fact. Margarito uh, has the record for the most punches thrown in a round against Joshua Clotty. He threw almost 1,700 punches in one round. That's the world record in a championship fight. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you got that wrong. 1,700 nope. in one 16, round? 1,675, I think. The, Google it. 1,700 in one round? You, you one made, round. 1,675, yep. Champ, you're obviously making a mistake. You're saying he threw 1,000. 600 punches. No, no, no. In the world, and not in one round. Excuse me. The All whole right. fight. <laughs> no, I know. I know. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm, about to say, I was like, what? I'm like, Lord, this guy's he really, he, he got the shovel and he ain't letting it go. The, the, the I got hit too much. I took too many. Nah, but, but he has the, the record for the most punches thrown in a fight. So he had some crazy output too. But this kid looks. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, no, this kid hasn't gotten a 1,700 punches in one fight, but he definitely is at 1,000 without a doubt. But I can I see him he... getting there with, with, with someone that is durable but not too skilled but just durable because if he threw 153 on that other round with, with, with Maxi, it, it's just going to take a dude to take it. Like if you could take 150 punches for 10 rounds, that's 1,500. I got a counterpunch from Majid. No, nah, but he's still – he still he still had the fight where it was like sixteen hundred against JoJo and it was like five hundred and seventy four landed. Yo yo, everybody need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join YouTube members Patreon for something, and uh get those likes up to the five hundred so he could open up that chat and shit. Like the fuck y'all just sitting there for? But um. Yeah, man, I just had wanted to start this shit off by telling everybody that's going to be listening to this shit today that Shakur beat their favorite fighter, no matter how boring he was. If y'all was snowing on that last fight, no matter what the fuck it is, he beating y'all favorite fighter. So when y'all get on this line today, don't act like that motherfucker don't got skills because y'all don't like him. So, hey, Ness, what, what up with all y'all? Good morning, good morning, good morning. And uh, for all the little Shakur haters, I just like to say fuck them in that bitch. That's all that was, Ness, and that's all I got. I'm out. Man, to pay the, like, when I, when I, like, think about boxing and no boxing, the sweet science, Sierra Boxio. Sierra is actually Latin for science. It's the root word. It means to know. So, so if you, it's not a thinking man's game. That's in the amateurs. So at this point, you must know what you're doing or you're going to get your pack busted. And when I know boxing, Zapata is like Taylor made good work because he's going to do one thing. He's going to come at you with pressure and throw good punches. That's decent power. He has good fundamentals. Zapata is fundamentally sound. Now, he might not move his head off the line like he should all the time, but he has fundamentally sound technique. Those type of fighters are actually easier to fight because they give you opportunities when you have more than one style. And if whenever Shakur, decide, Shakur, Tupac, too sharp Shakur, look at me. Left-hand counterpart, brother, older bro. You got to be willing to stay in the pocket and have faith in your defense. Faith is just a part of it. Do you know boxing? Get into your jaw, and Zepeda's going to do what Zepeda does, give you opportunities. If I'm not mistaken, when Floyd fought in San Francisco, he fought the Mexican kid, the kid that was throwing crazy punches. And Floyd stopped him because he stayed in the pocket. It's not, you don't have to throw punches, mad punches, every round. Some rounds you set in traps. One round you might just be catching the punches and dropping down, going to the gut, because the Peter's going to do the same thing. He's going to be ripping, throwing combinations. Those are for you to catch, catch, slip, do different things, run the uppy, come over top, come up under. You can really run tricks on a guy like that. This could really be your coming out party. Like, 
Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner, DeMarco. Because DeMarco just going to do what DeMarco do. He going to come at you throwing hard punches nonstop. Try to break your back. Pause. Like, you could really run these tricks, but you got to work that in the gym. Like, and you might have to come up out of that headgear sometimes to have somebody in them 16s on and you just kind of working, getting that. That that's that's what the, the old guys used to do. I yield. We'll bruh, see. bruh, just remember remember Ness told y'all when the news breaks officially. Remember I told y'all first, man. What are you talking about? Just remember that today I was sad. You just got some weird call and now you're acting all funny. What happened? Exactly, but when it happens, Yo. just remember that today, I was sad. You're sad. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Player, you no, like I'm about to tweet happened? it out. I'm about to tweet it out. I'm just waiting. Look at Danny. Like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Danny, Danny, Danny you know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. What I ain't it? clapping. I ain't clapping like I'm happy. Spit it out. Will somebody you know. retire? I might as well just say this shit, no? Yeah, you might no, as well. No, 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 because that's his own show. Uh, I don't even, like, like, I'm, I got the tweet or halfway prepared. I'm trying to decide, do I fucking cancel this shit and go straight into that? For real. You would cancel this show? <laughs> hey, blood, it's your world. They want to hear it. For real, bro, that's bananas. Mm. What the hell is going on? You can't skip over the bananas. Oh. Te- text it to me. I won't say anything. But nah, we going to call us. Hold on. Let me think. Suleiman, what up? Just know it's it's some prime news. Mess- message it to me. I won't say anything, though, but message it's, it to me. It's some prime news that includes some premier fighters. What, well, Bud and Boots? Let's work. No. <laughs> Look at Danny. Danny loved that one. <laughs> it, got, it must be trash. That's weird. <laughs> you like that six seven, Danny? Suleiman, get off. Speaker. I mean, Troy, Troy, <laughs> Troy. In a way, you're right, in my opinion. But some people, to some people, is gold. You feel me? No, yeah, this got to be trash. Cause Ness That's started what I'm out thinking. today. I'm sad. Yeah, he's no, sad. I'm sad. Bro, no, nothing sad. I'm not sad. No, Ness no, no, sad, because though. it's it's it is it, it the news is true. The news is true, but the result we okay. won't know until someone Duran, maybe so, uh, someone sick? needs to visit a doctor, then we'll know how bad things are. Can't, I can't say more. Not, I, I have to decide what I want to do. I haven't decided. I'm sorry. <laughs> Suleiman, are you going to talk? Take the pressure off of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So check this out, man. I, I'm pretty good. Um, Brian Garcia is going to be, say, sick or something. And this guy, what's his name? Shakur is going to fight Haney. And it's going to be the fight of the century. That's what you're talking about? Nah, that's... the WBC. What? He want to become a fourth division champ. Shakur Stevenson like he attempted to become a fourth division champ against Devon, Devon the Magic Man Haney. You know what I'm saying? Is that what you're talking about? That's nah, we're talking about Shakur. We're talking about Shakur versus Sabeda. Who is Devon? Yeah, he said Devon <laughs> the Prime Haney. What he said? Nah, Devon, he the said Devon the Magic Devon Man. Devon Haney. The Magic Man. He said, the the Magic Man. What the fuck? I like it. I like that's, it. That's Antonio yo, 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 yo. It was so, Paul so, Romano, so, too, so, by the Magic Man. Yo, that, not for nothing, but do you know that that guy got deported? And that guy that guy um had like eight day training for, for that fight, uh Maxi Hughes. Maxi Hughes got deported and he had to a, a, that, that's what affected he didn't have the legs in that fight. Okay? Uh so we basing we basing William Cepeda's performance and his punch output uh on a, on a guy that got deported and um he, he he didn't have enough time in the training camp, and he, he needed a payday, so that's why he didn't reschedule the fight. Okay, so so this, this is what what I what, what I get from um from uh from from news articles that I read. So now, um, 
at the end of that day, William Sepeda got beautiful output, beautiful softball, could break it down. Um, the question of that fight, if he did fight Shakur, if uh, the Shakur Stevenson fight comes, is can, can he cut off the ring? Is he fast enough with his legs to keep up with Shakur? Because that's the problem. A lot of these guys can't keep up with that little Puerto Rican's legs. He could box on the back foot. He could box. And he has power. We basically, his lack of power on that last fight, the De Los Santos fight. Um, he was stopping people. He stopped the, Jam Jamel Herring, like you, you said before. He has stopping power. He could box. And people was actually calling him a weight bully in lower division at 130 or 126. Now, all of a sudden, he's a 135-pound champ. And he fought a real tough dude that knocked out Rayo, okay? Which you said in another show, um, this man knocked out Rayo, okay? So he's not no, um, you know, he's not no little, uh, who is also a hungry fighter, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then on top of that, he was preparing for Frank Martin, Frank Martin canceled. So all those, all those factors went to play. He was preparing for a different fight camp, and that fight, camp, that fight didn't take place because Frank Martin won more money, and then he started fight training for De Los Santos. So that all plays into effect, you know what I'm saying? So I think Shokor still has power. I think, like you said before, he knocked out that Japanese dude. He has power. I think in this fight, he for Sepeda, he'd be able to box Sepeda. Sepeda's not going to be fighting a dude that had a short training camp like, like Max Hughes. He's going to be able to effectively counter this man. He's going to also, um, you know, be throwing that spontaneous jab in his face. The, um, Max Hughes backed him up with a jab in a fight, even though Max Hughes had no power. So what I'm saying is that the, the, the whole the, the the whole output of this fight is gonna be all in the factor of the three division champ, which is um Shakur Stevenson. I really don't want to see that fight take place. I would like to see him go up on, up and wait and fight Devin Haney. I think that would be an excellent fight for this modern day time. This fight um should take place because we get to see two greats going at it in their prime, and that's what we need to see. Thank you for having me on, and uh and big shout out to Joe Joyce for that big win um this week. All right. Good call. Also, Dillian good, White won too. Dillian call. White. How about Dillian? What do you think about Dillian White, man? You think Dillian White could still do it? Him and Joe Joyce? No, because he, he won also against to, No, Dillian White needs to retire immediately. Oh, he fought, he, he. Okay. And Joe okay, Joyce okay, is, 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 I think, is doesn't have what it takes to be a, a heavyweight champion. He's a, he, and he, I don't find him exciting at all. You know, he's a big dude. He gets knockouts, whatever. I don't find him exciting, but. I don't. I think he proved already that he can't fight at the elite well, level he, at heavyweight. He, 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 he uh, fighting, but he got two quick track. They quick track the, the crap out of Joe Joyce because Joe Joyce came in later agent to the heavyweight division as a pro. Um, How many we, we, amateur we fights did he have though? Didn't he have a decent amateur background? Yeah, he had an amateur background. Plus, he was also susceptible to that eye injury that he had when he got the mm. Zang fight. He got scarred from that eye, so Zang targeted that eye. You know what I'm saying? It's and then just, he messed he, up because. He, he tried to come a two Q in that fight, and that's to how me, he tried to, to come a two Q. Right, right. I, I, to me, he is one of the slowest heavyweights I've seen in a long time. Like, like yeah, almost like, said that. like, the, like the videos the being slowed down that, on purpose. Everybody said that on the come up that Joe Joyce was slow. He reminded people of Joe, uh, George George You No, know but the point is that he got himself cut up, and he was he got an ego an ego on his chest because. He beat, he knocked out Joseph Parker. So they put him in with Zhang, um, and he came in crazy cut up in that fight. And then in the second fight, he tried to bulk up, and it, and it, and it messed him up. I think right. if, if he, he he doesn't have head movement, that's why they call him the juggler. He takes a lot of shots. If they match him by, and he's dedicated like a Joseph Parker, he could probably resurrect his career. I, I give it a chance. If It's all up to him, man. He's great. All these fighters, man, their greatest enemies is themselves, man. It's how it's, it's how they take this game, how they take this crap. Huh? They gotta take this crap. They gotta master this crap. You can't be hanging around doing the wrong thing. You gotta master this crap like Haney. You know what I'm saying? So if Shakur could do that and master this crap, he could great do a great fight. Also, Ryan Garcia. Why say Garcia gotta master this crap, man? He can't be coming out in the media and all that. If I was him, whoever's managing this guy. Or train this guy, he got to put his foot down on Brian Garcia. Yo, Brian, did you see? It. Did you see that work he was doing with Derek yesterday? Yeah, hey, bro, did scary. you see that? He looked, he looking scary. Listen, he bro, looking scary. That. Nah, yeah, I'm bro. talking about. Well, well, he, he had he had some good work with Derek and some fucking uh 
you know, he he seems to be trolling. He posted a bottle, fake drinking Hennessy. Then he he posted the the weird looking sparring with with Derek just palming his head. Like, what did I get myself into? Um, but then he posted some good ass catch and shoot uh, counter work that he was doing. So, well, the uh, kid's this, fast. This could all be part of his 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 you know the method to his madness. Like this now is how he sells it. Child molestation talk and that's not all part of it that's but whatever yeah um, no i mean i know it, that but you know some the, of the other wild shit is 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 all i'm saying but the kid could fight i mean i think we all know he's fast we all know he could punch just is that shit gonna land on Devin? probably not listen and, man i don't know hold how on, y'all Marco. think Devin, how Devin gonna be fighting ryan but don't speed but kill. Gonna, ain't out of boxes. I thought speed kills. And like, ain't he? The no, fast that's what one? I'm trying to. That's what I was about to explain. That I don't even know how people. He's gonna have to get hit because he has to break the distance to come in. He's the shorter man. Who's gonna get hit? Devin is the shorter Devin. man. Devin's shorter by yeah, like. Yeah, Devin inch. is clearly shorter than Ryan. By like an inch. It's mm. close though. Oh, it's a little. He, he a little bit. He got a lot of size on him. Five, bro. Nine, Watch five, him like ten. Face. Yeah, like, I think. Ryan's 5'10", and Devin's 5'9". They're, they're close. Uh, but Devin he, is not no fucking 5'9", man. D- Danny, how tall are you? Because Danny's there with him, and he's a certain height, so he got to get a yeah, educated nine, guess. Right, yeah, I mean, he, I'd say, I'd say 5'9", five, 5'8", five, 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 eight on, the, on the low end, like. Devin is about 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying, and, and, and uh. Five nine, nine is five, taller than what y'all think it is, bro. Like nah, Sugar I mean, Shane Mosley is five eight. Like we Sugar about Shane the same Mosley height. Five, I'm eight five eight ten. Mm-hmm. Sugar yeah. Shane Mosley is a legit five eight and a half. I got a picture with him because I wanted to size myself up with a real welterweight. Sugar Shane Mosley is a jit five eight. Yeah, and, yeah. And he was I mean, a little I, bit I, taller than Floyd. I think we could say though the height it's pretty close. I don't think they're you've seen them face off. There's not more than an inch between them. So. No, yeah, but it is still reaching up and and to break. Let me the get distance. to some callers, fellas. We got the people's champ, Cincinnati. What it do? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. We're at 196,439, so we need about another 600 subscribers to get to the next goal of 197,000. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. While you subscribe to us, don't forget to subscribe to Troy, Marco. Where can they find you? Troy Kilotainment King, YouTube, Cardinal DeChivo, Instagram. And we working, giveaway gloves, Hamza's gloves. We about to be getting, listen, I got to get y'all niggas some gloves, man. Y'all got to get y'all boxing together. Marco? I, I don't want to. I'm sorry. Man, you be pausing, okay, man. I'm... You got that slow Oakland chill fucking voice. He's like, got to get y'all some gloves or y'all get y'all boxing together. He's from, he's from And then Ohio, he pauses, that anyway. long pause comes back to you without you knowing. He's like. A slow Ohio voice. Um, you find me at Marco Boxing. Marco, it's three underscores. Boxing on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that sweet stuff. Damn, they eat. Yo, that. TBV. Oh, what up, Brandon? Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe. These brothers putting in good work. Good morning, TBV. Shout out to the whole panel, whole community. Okay. Hey, Ness, what are you trying to tell us, man? We about to uh get Bud versus Arrow two. That's what you're trying to say without saying it, he man. He... Nah, you. I'm nah. about to do that show. Once my email click, we'll be done with this and then start that. Nah, it's don't do it. it, bro. Bruh. Oh, man. It sound, real, the way you Danny. said it, it's, it sound like Errol Spence you... is getting his, his retirement check. Man, another hellacious ass beating. What are we talking about? I mean, look, I'm going to I don't know, man. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing, man. But, yeah, if I had to guess, I think it sounded like Earl and Bud, too. Another hellacious ass whipping from the uh, water walker himself. And Earl will be collecting his retirement check. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm just guessing. I'm just fishing. But as far as Williams, Zepeda, and Shakur Stevens. compared to this. 
Oh shit, damn. Well, there you go. Let me shut the fuck up. It's even worse. But um, as far as Shakur and Williams and Payton, it's a great uh, clash of styles. You got the slick, black, um, defensively sound, disciplined, pure boxer versus the relentless Mexican come for brawler that's gonna throw a lot of punches. Um, so yeah, from a um style matchup wise, it's quintessential. It it, it should be um. Should be a good matchup. Depends on who dictates the pace. If Sh if Shakur is able to dictate the pace and make it a little slow, methodical, counter punch fest, he'll win. But if Williams and Payton is able to make Shakur uncomfortable and work and over exhume himself, we might have a good fight on our hands. But other than that, um, yeah, I like the fight, man. Neither guy has pretty much anything else they could do that'll garner as much money and uh, much attention. So I think it's pretty cut and dry. You know, it'll be for a title. I like the fight, man. I'll pick Shakur to win the fight. Um, just outboxing him, of course. But yeah, man, they need to make that happen. I'm uh, pretty high on Williams and Payton. I like his style. He's always an exciting fight. Shakur, you know, he let me down his last fight and a couple other of his performances, but he has shown that when he does sit in the pocket and let his hands go, he is very sharp, places his punch as well. Champ, but the and million he is dollar one of the question is... The million dollar question is, is Sepeda going to take the title shot? Because again, according to Bob, it would be July 6th. It would be in the Prudential Center, the home of, you know, uh, Shakur. Obviously, Shakur is the A-side, but, you know, you're, you're going to his home territory. You're fighting for his belt. I mean, it's on his network. Does he so? take that? I mean, what else could he do to get that kind of money, you know? Is, oh, so they, you if they offer him a couple of M's. You really don't know another route. Why not? Route. Okay, so you really don't know another I don't. route. All I right, don't. All right, so so I'll tell you the other route again. I think the other route is he's fought two Southpaws back-to-back. -back. Gesta, Hughes, they weigh in on the Southpaws, just not the young one. It's the 35-year-old one that might be pushing 36 by the time he wins the belt versus George Cambosos. The last fight he just had yesterday, Saturday, excuse me, was an IBF eliminator, which would make him the mandatory to Loma, which would be the bigger, more legendary fight where, yeah, he could cross the street or potentially get into a purse bid situation as the mandatory versus Golden Boy top rank um, or just accept the offer because it's an older Southpaw uh, that has the name, you know. Um, not to say that Shakur don't got the name. I'm just saying there is another route. The dude's highly ranked in three sanctioning bodies, WBA, WBC, I B F. That's another option. That's another option. But um, uh, I don't know. He well, in that case, he does have a couple good options. Like he's number but, one in the WBA now. Frank is about to fight Tank, so he becomes the mandatory for Tank. He's number one in the WBC, so he becomes the mandatory for Shakur. And again, he's number three in the WBO. And Angel Fierro is number two, but Baranchek is about to fight Emmanuel for the belt, which means he'll get an eliminator with Fierro, another fight to stay busy, beat the shit out of Fierro in a DAZN matchroom versus Golden Boy, you know, fight, stay busy. Like, again, he could stay active, beat Fierro, and still be the number one to Emmanuel Navarrete. He's number six, which Keyshawn is five, Maxi Hughes is four, which means he's going to jump Keyshawn. Loma and George are three and two, which they are fighting. So, Vacant is number one. Like he is in a amazing position. He, don't, I mean, they they would have to offer him a nice offer. Like it would be, it yeah. would have to make sense for them That's to true. do it because they're in such a great position. It's like, do we just let you fight Fierro and wait to see does the WBA make you the mandatory to tank, which is the bigger money fight? Because they could just fight Fierro and stay busy in three months from now. And see how things wa w worked out with Tank, cause Tank don't fight till June. Nah, I mean, shit, the kid got options, man. He got options, and He's how so boxing rare. is today, they'll probably they'll probably take that strategic fucking roadmap shit you just mentioned when it's obvious the cut and dry option to be Shakur ain't got an opponent. You need a title shot. Make the shit happen. But nine times out of ten, they'll go around the fucking block, I mean, around if, the world, I mean, around if the corner, I'm, all but that look, shit. But look, like but look how they treating me. They already talking about, oh, fight on my date, fight on my city, fight in his home. 
at least if I beat Loma, now we talking Las Vegas. Now we talking green print. Now we talking unification. Now y'all at least treating me like somebody versus going to his hometown, fighting in his home, in his backyard. Said, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what do you have? What do you have to base that off of? If he beats Loma, stop the bullshit, Danny. No, no, no. You, uh, I thought you said that if he fight Loma, that it's a big Vegas fight. No, if he beats Loma, Shakur and him is a Vegas fight. It's, it's, not, it's neutral territory. It's the green print. Uh, it's a unification. No, I heard you wrong. I was nah, like, no worries. I was like, no yeah, worries. since... You know since, I love since it when is myself. Vegas? Uh, since when is Loma a Vegas fight? But Daddy, man, just make the fight happen, man. But Danny, Loma's don't, old. don't, don't see that uh, shit. I'm out. PPV. Don't don't put it past top rank making Loma versus Cepeda in Vegas after Loma beats George. I could see that totally. I mean, they've had him. They had him in Vegas with with lesser men, no. I'm asking. This is not me saying. I'm asking. I know he fought De Devin. Other than Devin, you tell me nobody else. I thought that. I thought. I thought that was like his first fight in Vegas. What? Headliner? Get out of here. I know he. I Man, mean, I'm no. He, I know he I fought in Vegas that. on Floyd Pacquiao undercard. He was a, the pay per view opener, or something like that. Damn, but, that's like, bananas. Headline? Yeah, headline. I don't think he's ever headlined Vegas outside of Devin. Mm. Al in the Let Bay. Let me pull it up. That's crazy. Well, then I'm wrong, right? Based off that. Al in the Bay. What do, what you, do you say? say? Yo, yo, yo. Can you hear me? What's happening? Now, how's your intro? I forgot. Oh, from the Bay Area. Bay Area Pittsburgh. Bay Area. <laughs> on the map. Uh, yeah, man. Um, First of all, Ness, I had sent $5 for a counterpunch on Friday. I don't know if you ever seen it because you never got to me. Um, what cash have you used? But, uh... Alan Willis? No, no, no. Not, not, no, no, I mean, you send it to... Oh, yeah, I see it right here. Alan the Bay, Friday. Yeah. So, I, meant, I meant which one you uh, sent it to me, like, which one you used the mods, but I found it. Oh, yeah. Um, So, I think that would be a good fight. Um, William Cepeda versus Shakur. Um, I think it's a good turnaround fight for William Cepeda because... It ain't like he got to, you know, lose the weight again. He just got to keep it um, where he's at. Um, I don't know if I would want to, for his first title shot, I wouldn't want to go to Core's hometown. I would try to do like a neutral area um, if I was William Zapata. Um, if they can make that happen, like a neutral area, then he should just take the fight. If they can't get a neutral area, then I'll just probably pass up on it. Um, and that's just my my way of thinking it. Um, I don't think Frank and uh, Tank is signed, sealed, and delivered just yet. So, um, if I was Golden Boy, I'd try to sneak in there while they're trying to make the fight happen. And trying to get that tank fight, um, I know it's it, it would probably be like a a hard thing to do, but I'll try to sneak in there while the fight is not signed, and try to slide my boy right up in there, um, and try to get that tank fight, because you know how Tank loves fighting Mexicans, man. He'll fight a Mexican over a brother any day. So, uh. Yeah, man, that's just the way I look at things. I mean, the the heavy rumor is he's fighting Frank, and, I mean, he's been confirming it all over social media with the way he's been reacting to Frank's, uh, you know, tweets and whatnot. So he about to fight a brother for you. Yeah, but, you know, it's not signed, sealed, and delivered. So my thing is, if the contract is not signed, 
I feel like if the contract is not signed, you can always slide somebody in there. Um, you know, um, I think Tank will take that fight. Um, if he can't come up with an agreement with Frank, I think Tank will take that fight. Champ, that um, was D Bell. Uh, listen. I know Tank will take that fight because you got Kenny Ellis all over Instagram talking about Oscar ain't say Tank name. They want that Mexican, boy. They want that Mexican. Of course they do that. Listen, they in the entertainment business. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate. It takes people a long time to understand people. So during that time, if you don't understand someone, you can end up being on the outside in like I am, right? But, like, now I understand Tank's team. I understand. They... They in the entertainment business. They here to put on shows and 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 big events. So they looking for specific dance partners. They not into traditional boxing like we thought. And that's okay once you understand that. You know, but if you were like me 4 years ago or you know up, you know, 4 years till present date where I'm like, oh, I want to see him fight so-and-so. I want to see him get this bell. I want to see him unify. That wasn't his objective and goals. And now, years later, I'm like, okay, I see what it is he's doing. He here to put on them shows where Kareem Abdul-Jabbar comes out. You know what I'm saying? Where all these stars come out. He's not here to do the belt thing. And it's horrible to say it's okay because... We were brought into this sport from a traditional standpoint, like champion means champion, contender fight, you know, fights the champion, and things are changing now. It's about social media and how many you sell and asses and seats. So, you know, we got to move with the times, but Zepeda makes a great opponent for Tank. He's a great opponent for Tank. Um, if you just consider the Leo fight, then you really want the Cepeda fight because you're like, bro, Leo hit him until he couldn't hit him anymore because Tank put him out. But you looking at Cepeda and you're like, well, damn, this dude's a southpaw. He, he, he hits harder than Leo. He throws as much, if not more than Leo. But go ahead, Troy. That's a body for Tank. Which one, That's Cepeda? Cepeda yeah. from, from Saturday? Like yeah, because that the like the it's the fact that like I said, Frank Martin can box. You give Tank more time to think and set traps to kill you. Zapata has good fundamentals, and he's gonna give you opportunities to hit him. Tank is can to put combinations together. He got to, he, he has a wide variety of fundamentals layers. He go to the guts, and I've seen. But him but fight did you watch handed. the fight? Because I seen yeah, that Maxi Hughes. That. Yeah, bro, I watched Tank fight because no I'm no no watching. no 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 no. I'm talking about William Zepeda's fight Saturday versus Maxi Hughes the southpaw. Um, because yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched because it. Hughes Hughes fights. I mean, he fought. In that first round, which was a, a super impressive round, probably one of his best rounds ever in life, but he exerted a lot of energy to do that. He had to throw a lot of punches to keep William on the defense, keep him in the high guard, you know. Um, but he hit him with a lot of jabs. You know, we never seen Tank throw that many punches. So that means Tank's going to be on the defense a lot from You don't William. have to throw that many punches, bro. Um, when you're boxing and you have the sharp power that Tank got, one catch encounter yeah. will make Zepeda relax. Tank also downloads a lot of information at first. Takes his time. He's real efficient. Like, and this another thing. Man, y'all got Tank beating everybody without fighting him. This shit crazy. Uh, no, it's I, just the way that, that he executes his his plan, uh, action. Tank uses the jab. He has said, uh, he's an underrated boxer. I agree. People don't give him credit like, for his IQ. He, the reason that he gets the knockouts he gets because he does you unreal set that up. boxing moves. Right? You thank you. You got to set people. You got to set that up. It's not just a lucky punch landed. It's a yeah. A lot like he set up the Leo 
of Santa Cruz knockout. Once again, he was in the conventional position when he knocked him out, and he knocked him out just like that with a lead uppercut, still with the left hand. But he wasn't even in the position of a left-hander. That takes talent. You know what I mean? And skill. And if him and Floyd worked on that. But that that when Zapata's coming in, Zapata is fundamental. He uses the jab. He don't just walk in with his head forward crazy. No, he be coming behind the jab. He throw one, twos, hooks to the body. Tank is can catch that. Come back with the shot, take an angle. Zapata is an exciting fight. That they see what I see. It's an exciting fight because he Tank is really Everybody. gonna look like a Canelo type of boxer in there with Zapata. Zapata's exciting fight against any of the four horsemen, any of them. He's he'd be an exciting fight. Definitely. He's I think very... the most exciting fight is Zapata and Devin Haney. Mm, I would Devin say Devin doesn't have the power of of the other guys, and when Zapata's fundamental enough, like and quick enough to stay on Devin, because Devin is not like he's a Devin has good footwork and it's not about the speed; he has educated feet. You know well, what I'm I saying? I don't. I don't think Devin. Devin and Shakur are the are less exciting to me. I think. Tank's exciting, and Tank versus Tio would be fireworks. Those guys, that would be a fun fight. No, no, watch. most definitely. But yeah. I'm saying Let me get the way to some more calls, exciting. fellas. Let's Your just, world, baby. Let's just get back to some calls just to keep it flowing. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Really, Marcos? You, you, you doubling up? It wasn't me. What? Sounded like you. No, it was my voice, but I didn't say anything. Ethan, it's, it's... welcome to the prospect level. Uh, now nah, that's me trolling you. Years of lurking, $2. Mexican in Jersey? Fight not happening. Las Vegas or bus? Damn, see what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. There's Mexicans in Jersey. Why y'all doing them like that? RRT boxing with Mr. A, $5. I'm calling Cap Shakur versus Artem next. Hashtag Hardeen. Salute to Hardeen. We got a counterpunch from Lake County for Suleiman the Scholar. Suleiman the Scholar. Um, and up we got Drew. What it do? Hey, yo. Top of the morning, gentlemen. Top of the I'm morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. What up, what up, what up? What up, what up? Uh, Zepeda, you guys talking about Zepeda tank real quick. I don't think he takes that Shakur fight right now. There's too many more options that make more sense and making more money and get him to say and get him a strap. I like Zepeda versus tank, but let's, 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 let's stop this. It could either be Broner versus Ponce de Leon or if we see a Mexican really pressure the man and that the next Floyd, all this power from a young African stud, African-American stud is calmed down, or we see the Leo Santa Cruz 2.0. Because they were saying the same thing about AB, the cam man, about billions, that Ponce de Leon changed it all up. Ever since that fight, Broner's output was diminished and that power wasn't what we thought that power was. He was getting all the accolades, all the attention. And can we say Zapata is better than Ponce de Leon? Can we say Perhaps, Loma yeah. is better than Ponce de Leon? No, I mean, can we say can we say that can we say Zapata is better than Ponce de Leon? Oh, uh, I mean, like Danny said, perhaps Ponce de Leon actually somebody, Danny, you should do that. Because he's Mexican. How many title defenses did he have? He had a lot. He stood in that division a long time. And, you know. He was, right? Um, and so, that was a, that was. Yeah, that I mean, obviously, William looks like the, the day, goods. Right? But but Ponce accomplished. So you got to give Broner credit. Like, Bron, Ponce, oh, yeah, okay. Ponce Brandon, did yeah. his thing. That was a hell of a fight, too. That was, uh, that was would you say that was AB's only real test at 35? Because he went up after that, right? 
Well, DeMarco, bro. DeMarco had only lost to uh, fucking Edwin Valero at the time, and then he had knocked out what, Molina? Or did Molina knock him out on HBO? How'd that go? I think it was... Oh, fuck. We're old now. I can't even fucking remember. I know. I'm about to fucking I think, uh... But DeMarco, DeMarco, <laughs> people say DeMarco's was his best win at 35, but Ponce... Yeah, look, you... So, Ponce... Ponce at 22 had one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Six. Mm. Six successful title defenses. Damn. Lost in his seventh to Juan Ma Lopez. That's crazy. It sounded like so much more back then. I guess because Wilder came through with 10. It did, yeah. Crushed the buildings on him. That's crazy. It sounded like so much more. I know B Hop had 20. No, so yeah, what's yeah, not? But, he knocked out. Uh, but he moved DeMarco up in weight, HBO. though. Obviously, he he became a champ in multiple divisions. Yeah. So right now, that I would see that fight going either that way. And or that Broner fight, tank, that Broner fight was at him. thirty, by the way. Thirty. Yeah, it was at thirty. Was How many was fights did Pons have at thirty before the Broner fight? Before the Broner fight, he had. I mean. So yeah, it could be it could be two of those. And before I'll say I'll say, I'll say one. Mm-hmm. I think it was one or two. He, I'll say one because he he had a fight at one twenty seven <laughs> in Mexico, and uh, you know him and Broner fought at one thirty. So technically, yeah. before one go, fight in the super featherweight division. Loma did fight in Vegas. He he headlined that Nakatani car, remember? I seen your tweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, champ. He also headlined the venue against Nicholas Walters. So I mean if if y'all want to give Vegas him credit too? for a two thousand Vegas? You Bro, me? Why you don't want to yeah. give him credit? He fought there. Like people fought in Samstown the whole two thousand and and I say that all the time about Timothy Sam, Bradley. Samstown Samstown don't don't hold the well, I said that all the time about Timothy Bradley. That it, he wasn't able to fill up 2,000. So, yeah, anybody can do 2,000 is impressive. Yeah, I just – let me just remind everybody, your your wording was Big Vegas fight. 2,000 don't give me Big Vegas fight. Oh, did I use you Big know? Vegas if, fight? If the, that, yeah, that yeah was I mean, the, with William and Loma, right? With William and Loma. <laughs> it's, hey, it's Monday, yo. I love when Danny get his technicalities in order. <laughs> Sam, I'm just saying. Do you call two two thousand yeah, a big Vegas know, fight? If so, will I will <laughs> I see you for <laughs> Hitchens and Pacheco uh, in two weeks? My dude, Hitchens is fighting Gustavo <laughs> Lamon. Did you apply for that? Of course. Salute, champ. That's a, no, that's gonna to be a in, scrap, I'm man. To you in Japan, Danny. I'm trying to. But are y'all right coming on, out? Because uh, it's two thousand people going to be. It's it's a venue for two thousand. That's a big Vegas fight in 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 Nestor no, standards. No, that's not a Loma's not in that equation. Fuck out of here. Salute to Richardson. Hopefully he does make it to two thousand. Is the two thousand venue mean, where he's fighting is. at? Huh? Is the two thousand venue where he's fighting? Because the Cosmopolitan was full. William Cepeda, he had more than two thousand. How much did the Cosmo, Cosmopolitan hold? Two thousand, I thought. Get the fuck out of here. He had more than 2,000 in there, champ. That shit looked at packed. Shout out to Fernando and Gabe Flores. You seen that shit? Yeah, that shit was popping. That shit, bro. Why did why did dad say said that was six, but then the son, I mean, well, so 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 Gabriel Flores Sr. says six, but Fernando Jr. says 10. And I'm with uh, him. That shit looked more than six. That shit had people yeah. in the third rows, man. That shit was up there in the rafters. Yeah, it was three. It's it's they hold three thousand, bro. You feel me? Who for the Cosmo? Yeah. Okay, salute to him, cause you made it a thing on here. I don't know who you said it about, but you was like, oh, he ain't even fill up the Cosmopolitan. Who was that? I think it was Frank, but I don't want to put words in your mouth. Nah, nah, nah. It was kind of Ben. It was kind of Ben. And yeah, Frank. For, oh, Roly, Roly. I said, I said. Yeah. He just star, yeah. he just star, but they brought him back home. And he ain't sell out to a to a small venue, and he couldn't sell out. But William did, and he's not from Vegas, so we gotta salute yeah, these things, that, man. It, but is that is this like confirmed? Like he did thirty two hundred people. I mean, you just confirmed it. Where you get it from? I actually, I thought you was googling this shit. I'm sorry. 
I, you asked me how many to sit the shit hold. I ain't say the shit sold out and it did thirty two hundred. Oh I yeah, I think it's a sellout. Let me let me let me see. Let me see if they sent me a press release. But again, I don't know if you're gonna accept their words for it. But I'll see. No, they... I mean we accept we accept all promoters press release. Uh, you know the 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 attendance. Mm -hmm. Like you know, Golden Boy just because they're a bit less professional, we we don't take them any bit less, less serious. Get out of here! Shout out to Jane. Has been doing her thing. They hide over there. No, nah, she's been killing it. She's yeah. been killing it. You know, she needs some help though. That's all. Really? Oh no doubt. Uh, so. Bro, bro, like, I've literally asked every, like, you know, every media outlet. I'm like, yo, how do you, how do you apply for Golden Boy fights? Oh, bro, just show up. Just show up. Like, but what the fuck you mean, just show up? Just go through Jane, player. And they send links. Yeah, not, uh, no, I mean, this was the first one, remember? That I got. Or, um, but nonetheless... Bro, this is sad. They haven't posted on their social media in over a year. Who? The uh the venue at the Cosmo, the Chelsea. Yeah. Uh the I press release that maybe didn't they had show some anything. Or something. I'm gonna have to read the Dan story. Maybe the Dan story got it. Cause the press release doesn't say. But I'll get to the callers. Nike Hendrix. <laughs> Yo, y'all got me? Yes. All right, man, I'm make it quick because I'm at work. Shout out to the Bobby work. Shout out to Danny and Troy Marcos. If everybody's still on. But, uh, Pedro is cool. I like that, man. But next, man, like I said, I'm make it quick, man. We want to hear this bad news, man. Is it Crawford fighting uh, for I don't know why people are, yo, they on Twitter insinuating some about the boxing voices saying this, that. I ain't even said nothing yet, nah, man. You, nah, you they ain't wildin'. Anyway. I'm waiting, man. I'm yeah, doing my man. shit legit with. I'm waiting. Is it, is it, is it, what's the name, man? I don't is know nothing. I don't know hey. nothing until my thumbnail comes. All right. Man, but yeah, like I said, I'm at work, man, so appreciate that, man. I'm just, just trying to get my guesses in. You know, hopefully it's a vacant for Crawford at 50 But that's my call, man. Yeah, it didn't say. Danny sent me the Cosmo story, but they didn't say if they sold out either. I'm going to have to check Dan's story. CYP. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. 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 Hey, yo, um, what up, man? It's fucking Monday. Another exciting week. Let's, 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 see, what this, let's see what this week do. Um, yo, I, I hear some, some tank praise, some tank slander, some tank whatever. You know me. I'm, I'm on the job. I was looking at this shit. I'm like, man, 18 divisions. You got four belts in each division. You can have up to too many goddamn champions. There are so many dudes that have belts that we've never heard of, but we keep seeming to make it as if, that's the point of a boxer. No, no, no. The point of a promoter and a boxer is to make money. I don't know what the fuck people be thinking, but uh, it's about making money. If you had a local dude who can fill up his stadium with 10,000 people, charge tickets, and put his shit on an app, right? And say he can make $3 million a fight from doing that shit, no bill. He going to do that his whole career. His whole career, he's going to do that. Because he's making money hand over fist, ain't going to do it with no belts, no organizations, no Saying that a dude is uh, fighting to be a champion and hold all these belts is like saying dudes want to actually play college football. No, they don't. They actually want to go to the NFL, but they make you play college football for three years before you go. Same thing with the N NBA. Niggas don't want to play college, college basketball. They just make them do it before they can get to the NBA. All these fighters are trying to be legendary and make money for their family. They, most boxers come from poor neighborhoods. A belt ain't going to pay them for shit. I've always had this issue, but I looked at some of Mike Tyson's biggest fights the motherfuckers didn't have no bet on the line. Gotti Ward Trilogy didn't have no bet on the line. Ryan Garcia didn't have no bet on the line. Like, if you make money and it's a great, it's a great uh, uh, fight, you'll be remembered for the fight, and you'll get paid for being remembered. Now, you have a belt. You can go look on their website, and they'll show that you was a champion and shit, but they ain't paying you every year. They ain't paying you no, no, no fun um, once you retire, man. I'm about tired of this shit. If they really cared about who the face of boxing was or the with the belt, they wouldn't have four of them in each division. They would stop them from creating so many because you're watering the shit down 
and you and you really trying to fool the people who can't move on from what you told them. See, my brain is different. I move on. You ain't got to give me no belt. Pay me, motherfuckers. Most boxers are minorities. Minorities need money, generational wealth. Stop dangling these fucking trinkets in their fucking face, holding that over their heads. Boxers, go get your money any way you can. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson about to make a lot of money. A lot of money. There ain't one goddamn belt on that goddamn line, man. If Pacquiao come back and fight, they probably ain't going to have no belt on the line. He's going to make a lot of money. Pacquiao's still trying to fight for money. He ain't trying to fight for no goddamn belts. If belts matter so much, he should be trying to get back in the organization and work his way back up. Nope. But we don't disagree. We're going to agree. But I can guarantee you when the times change, y'all going to realize that you need to pay these boxers for the entertainment. Fuck that belt. Pay me. CYP out. I guess he don't like the fight. What's the <laughs> What's the better in Shakur, man? Too tough. Like oh, hold on. Hold on, Tom. Yeah, it's okay. It's on you. I guess he don't like the fight, man. Shout out to Coach Evan Tobler with the fat twenty dollars. <laughs> Shout out Evans. Two-Tone, what up? Yo, what's new, man? It's your boy, Two-Tone, the superstar. Please say the superstar. That, C that was, that was um, I really don't be tripping on CYP calls. I think he's, like, he he's an award-winning guy, so I give him his respect. But that was his most nastiest call ever. That was disgusting. That was, that's literally one of the top ten worst calls in TBV history. I say that respectfully. What if his kids watch, listen to this show right now and you hear belts don't matter? No, nigga. Legacy matters. Legacy's going to get you the money. Legacy's the reason why Javante Tank Davis ain't fighting uh, Devin the Dream Haney. Legacy's the reason why Javante ain't running to go ahead and fight Shakur. The nigga don't care about legacy. Floyd Mayweather got this nigga fighting on the backside of his career, the money Mayweather era instead of the pretty boy era not knowing that Tank would be generating the same amount of money with these big fights. Come on, bro. Belts do matter. Being a champion matters. Devin the Dream Haney, when it's all said and done, when he's in his crib, Devin the Dream Haney can say, yes, I was undisputed. Yes, I went up to 140 and fought for a belt. Yes, I fought the best competition available. Remember, boxing is still a sport. I didn't get into fucking boxing to be a fucking fanager, bro. Nobody did. Nobody got into this shit to be debating fucking contracts, bro. No fucking fan got involved in this boxing shit to give a fuck what a nigga purse like, to give a fuck how these niggas paint their nails. We give a fuck about wins, losses, belts, champions. Remember, boxing is still a sport at the end of the day. Two-tone superstar out, man. Two... Tom. It's not a sport. Boxing is not a sport because you can't play it. Ooh. So he was wrong. Boxing is not a sport. You don't play boxing. Ooh. So it's not a sport. B. Did belts matter to you? Listen, bro, if I could have been a champion, that, listen, I was boxing and I said, I'm a box because I just want to box. Yeah. You, you know, hear me now? AB, we hear you, but you sound like you on speaker or something, AB. Yeah, I'm on the uh, AirPod. Give me one second. I'm about to go into this room. I might work. One second. You got it, champ. While we waiting on AB to connect, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. Trying to get to 197,000. We working. A B. All right, I'm good. You can. Yes, Sound sir. Good? Yes, sir. Hey, word. What's good, Ness? What's good, Danny? What's good, Troy? What's good, Marco? How y'all doing, bro? Straight. The word. What's the word? Word, word, word. Well, first, um, so we're first talking about the Zapeta and Shakur. Whether Zapeta will even take the fight? Well, that's my main question. Do you think they take the fight? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of. Do I want to say easier options than Shakur? I mean, I, I think he could wait out for the WBA, like you said, and, and try to get the tank fight. Or he could. He, he's highly ranked in the W uh, or the IBF, too, so he could wait for the uh, Loma and um, Cambosos fight, right? So true. 
Yeah, yeah. So he I can think even right he can even get the bro. Navarrete fight, bro. All he gotta do is fight Angel Fierro with with Matchroom and and Golden Boy on the zone. Angel Fierro's with Matchroom, so then it'll it'll make him mandatory to the to the Navarrete Baranchek fight. He's in amazing position. It's crazy. Yeah, and all and all of the strengths in the bodies, which is you you don't see that a lot, but um. Yeah, so I think he'd go one of those routes, one of those easier routes. I think Shakur would be the tougher, the toughest route. I would say uh, Tank, but I think he'd only have to worry about getting knocked out with Tank. I think Shakur could completely outclass him. I'm not saying he will, but I think that's possible. But um, and uh, I thought I heard uh, talking about the Ryan stuff earlier too, and it, he's he's confusing my brain. That's like <laughs> I don't know what. It, it's serious or not, man. I mean, you like, seen yo, that last pad work. We all love what yes, we've seen. Yes, yes, that pad work was great. The countering was great. It, it looked so good. And then you see him a couple hours later pouring up the Henny bottle. I'm like, I just don't know what to do. Bro, you know true. what he's doing? He, he recorded hey, my yoga hey. 2.0. Hey, to all you motherfuckers, to all you motherfuckers that say shit about me vaping, that, that was him. Ripping the vape. I'm yeah. like, they can't say shit to right. me now. That was a vape? No, that was a Henny bottle. Bro. Hey, listen to me right now. This dude been live all fucking week. Oh, he was on a vape too? Wine. Yeah, hey, Henny. Oh, dang. He had wine, Henny, vapes. Listen, oh, he, he, oh, he doing it all. Like, Ryan is so much cap out here. <laughs> so you don't Yo, believe it? And dog, absolutely not. It's just stupidity. You think he's faking it? Absolutely, bro. I don't know. Absolutely. Man. I, I, like, I don't believe A-L. nothing. He, I don't believe nothing. There's a lot. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan yeah. is a true influencer, okay? Like that's my point. Man. I just Thank you for bro, intelligence. I just realized that this man has a boom You think he mic. actually pouring Henny because he not getting paid for it? Come on, man. It's Ryan Garcia. Bruh. I, well, bruh. I, think y'all, y'all, well, I don't right. know if y'all saw. Hey, he hold on. Getting paid hold for on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let the caller finish. Let the caller finish so we can get him on. Go ahead. Listen. Listen. Danny. Danny. Listen real let quick. Let the caller finish. Just... Go ahead, champ. Finish up so we can get you out of here. Um, I just I, I wanted you to ask. You got a caller? We been it, had a caller. Y'all motherfuckers been talking. Bro, why they don't be talking? What the fuck? <laughs> I was talking, but y'all, y'all started talking, Dan. But I know. It, they, don't, they don't hear it's you, though, but they don't hear you, though. Yeah, it was all good. We all chopping it up and shit or whatever. But I just wanted to ask Troy real quick. Where does he train out of? Is he from Jersey? Nah, he from he from no, originally I Ohio. No, I, I grew up in Akron, Ohio. And I used to, the uh, gyms I trained out of was um, a gym on the east side, Champs Gym. Then I went to Blue Steel, uh, Brown Street with Rocky Cash, rest in peace. Then they turned into Blue Steel. Then I moved to Columbus and I went with Blackburn. Then I, when I moved out here, I, can't, I was with Ben Batista and Kareem Mayfield at Straight Four Boxing Club. And then right, from there the, I turned pro. Yo, and then I, why, why, why? When he got to Mayfield, the song that popped up in my head is, I've been around the world. <laughs> my man been to all because, the gyms. Yeah, bro. Oh, man, I'm I have, a gym. Or, like, I was a gym. I mean, like, when I come to your gym, I'm coming to... It's my gym now. That's why Ooh. you ain't That's why you ain't in no gyms now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, P, we, you good? Yeah, yeah, I have one more thing. One more thing. Uh, Dan, you, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan, but I will say y'all Bears is on to something, buddy. Y'all is on to something. Mm. Danny. Shout out hey, to you. Y'all having a good sure. season? No, nah, I mean, we, oh, yeah, we just, just have a, a lot game. of control right now. We just have a lot of control Oh, right like now. for the upcoming draft or some shit? Yeah. Yo, so I want to play this Ryan video, but... Some good signings. But peep the boom mic. I ain't even peeped this mic originally. Like, I'm just thinking they grabbed their cell phone. Yo, shout out to Ryan where details matter. And that's why he's gotten as big as he did uh, on a social media platform. Because, 
bro, I, I'm I'm realizing he got a fucking boom mic up there. That means he got a whole crew filming this shit. Meanwhile, you think this was some iPhone footage. Exactly. It is not. But let's get some volume here, right? This is where he looks good. Look at that. Uh, that catch and shoot. Uh. They definitely made him more flat footed too. He's not on his, you know, like, he's staying on his feet. That boy was smoke, Troy. I'll tell you that right now. Yes, that left hook right there. That Ryan left hook right there Leo, was smoke. Iron is a Leo. Do you see that uppercut? He even, he even countered with the uppercut. Now, this is 15 seconds. Can he do this for 12 rounds, though? That's the thing. They, on the video, when he got done, they said they have been doing this for eight rounds straight. Yeah, man. I mean, they always say they'll never show. Feel me? That's Bro, how it always goes. No matter what Earl was doing, and no matter how I feel about his record, he came in shape. And he sure. came off so you saying so you saying work. so you saying because Ryan is with with uh with uh yeah Derek. I just heard Ryan telling the story about him and Derek having like an argument about Ryan he had another man in there just trying to hit Ryan and Ryan was just had to work his defense for the whole round and Ryan was like got mad and was just like fuck it I'm gonna just he lost his composure and start jabbing him. Start working the jab on him, and Derek was like, "No, nah, bro, what did I tell you?" And then he was like, "There, he was like, man, you, how you gonna just let me? He just hitting on me. I, I'm supposed to let us get." Then Derek was like, "Well, I get in there with you. I bet you I won't throw no punches." And he said, "Derek James just got in the ring, put his mouthpiece on, and just let Ryan throw him. He ain't throw nothing back." And he said, "Derek hasn't fought in years." He said he hit him with some shit and block. I seen everything. a story. I ain't seen no video of it. You seen video of this? No, no, no. Yeah. I, that that that's the story I'm talking about. The video, and I'm just saying like. And this is Derek that, saying it. This is um, this is Ryan saying he was like, "This is why one, I wasn't one, listening one to Derek at first. It, yeah, I was just watching it on the thing, showing. Because I the heard, plane. I heard uh. The, a similar story coming from uh, the Spit Bucket podcast. They they were reporting that thing yesterday. That, yeah, yeah. That I, just, Derek... I just heard Ryan actually saying it. He was like, "I'll do whatever Derek say." After that, he just he, he was like, "Man, y'all don't stay what he did for me." Like, I mean, I was I don't remember. about the training, and then Derek showed me. See, those are the things that sometimes you might not hear about with a coach. But those are the things that you need to get the respect of your fighter. Like, man, you 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 bit you bitching. Let me show you. Get, no, th you throw the shot. I put a head. I ain't got no head gear on. Mm. Come on, little. I don't. Me. I remember doing that in the beginning. But like, that's always in... that's always a good thing, you know. To to yeah, no, where, where, where it's like uh, show me better than you can tell me. Because sometimes you know, telling a person it, it ain't gonna sink in. But go ahead, Marco. I was just saying, I remember when I first started boxing, we would go in and do stuff like that. So it's kind of curious that he's doing it now. But you remember, uh, Troy, when you first start, you would oh, just Oh, look jabbing. at Marco taking shots, y'all. That, that went over your head. He said, I remember when I first started boxing. It's funny that he's doing well, that now. You're trying, to, you're, trying to, you're trying to call him, subliminally call him still a novice. No, not at all. Not at all. But I'm saying, oh, like, when wow. you first started, you would get in. You would just throw jabs at each other. You ever do? Remember those, Troy, in the beginning? It would just hell do jabs. Yeah, hell yeah. My my coach didn't like in Ohio. Nah, Troy, 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 Troy is a superstar. Ohio he didn't do jab people on his spine. Ask Prentice. Prentice, I tell you, don't I ain't gonna use me. Prentice, the, in Ohio, there is no sparring like. And them Cleveland niggas got work. I'm sorry, Akron people. Them Cleveland niggas got work, y'all. Well, you know what? It, of all the gyms I've been to, there's only one gym that did that jab sparring. You're right. Every other gym didn't do that. But Yeah, they, I, the, the jab sparring, bro, is something that exists. And Emmanuel Stewart, I seen him doing that with a, when Tommy Hearns was That's at great Super trainers. Middleweight. Great like, trainers heavy. make you do jab sparring, Mark. No, jab sparring. These, I, I these, was, these, when I these get a fighter, YouTube trainers, they, they, they want you to that. jump in there and just get all beat on. I mean, look. I don't think there's anything wrong with jab sparring when you first start. Exactly. Just, you no, got to warm a motherfucker into it. Ryan is talking about, though. 
Hey, no, I know, I know, but, but it's a similar a grown-ass vein. man was trying to knock his head hey, off. Hey, Marcos. Right, he had yeah, hey, Marcos, yeah, he did can. you crawl or did you start running? Exactly. No, you got exactly. When I got thrown in there, I got thrown there with the guy I was training. And at this time, he had won the novice Golden Gloves with only three fights. Troy, but we, Kelly- we, all on, we all in agreement that you was trained wrong. Shouldn't nobody be beating no, no, on no, nobody. Facts. Like, no, like, but I was 20, I was a grown man. They like, we see grown men come to the gym all the time and say they want to box. So they, in Ohio, they'll say, well, we're going to we gonna see. And man, they just kind of like. I don't care what gym I'm at. Ask Danny. Danny be telling me to shot. I be like, man, hell no, man. Get that motherfucker out of there. He getting beat on. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't, see, I ain't never with. I would have got beat on. I ain't on, never with I, they letting got people me get. I didn't get beat on. If it's a clear disadvantage, just like, bro, get him out of there. What the fuck is y'all doing? Like, shit ain't No, they cool. let it go for two or three rounds. They ain't going to let you get whoop, whoop. No, it let... depends what kind of gym you're in, man. I've seen gyms where, where they let stuff go that should not keep going. Or, no, they, put guys, listen, bro. or they put it's guys in way less that happened at a gym. Somebody died. Well, I've never I seen that. Both of the gyms it. I worked at, they was a spark. At one time in, San, in, in the Bay, Spars were not allowed to um, pros were not allowed to spar amateurs because Ben Check. Bautista was the president Check. of the Northern Boxing Commission and the amateurs, and they Check wouldn't allow Troy. that. Troy, yeah. check this out. When I was at Kevin Rooney's, I know Ben really you well. You didn't spar with headgear at Kevin Rooney's. That was like the rule. Like no, like they would when you would ask about headgear, they'd go. I remember this. I was fifteen. They go, well, you could put it on. It's just for pussies, but you could put it on. So of course, nobody put it on. So you're, I'm in there with pros at 15 sparring with no headgear. That's just what everybody did. That's crazy. Y'all, I busted my eardrum from it. Um, yep, that's how it was. And I didn't know any different until I started going to other gyms. I'm like, oh, that's not normal. No, that's not normal, bro. They didn't, listen, they do not do that, but they will get... If, like, listen. as a matter of fact, if, if you look at some of Mike's old sparring with Kevin Rooney, you'll see Mike has no headgear on. No, in fact, at, listen, when y'all get a chance and y'all talk to Prentice, He'll tell you, like, when you first go to the gym, they just bring you to the gym. They throw you in there with a kid. The first kid, you usually whoop. Then they put you in there with the best kid in the gym, kind of, and then they make you stay. That's it. They just make you stay. Let me get to some callers here. You never leave after that. That skill boxing club was different. I got Nick Glenn, member for three months on a prospect level. He says, here to show love. Shout out to y'all and the callers. 100 emoji. Hardeen full of smoke emoji. We got Ryan Frazier, $5 Canadian. Coming live from Indian Rock Beach. Florida is beautiful. Ness, never heard of Indian Rock Beach, my friend. Where the hell are you at? But um, we got Treese in Toledo, Ohio on the check-in. Yo. You? What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? What up, man? What's the word? What it do? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Hey, I just wanted to chime in with this. Uh, I didn't get to chime in yesterday. But uh, with the Floyd Schofield shit, I wasn't impressed by it, buddy. He, I get what uh, – he looked good. He got skills and shit. Good footwork, good agility. He need to use his jab more. I think that's what caused that hit, but he don't find distance with his jab and shit. That's what – Crash and bash shit caused that cut for him. But uh Cepeda, he looked good. He, he cleaned your man, Maxie Hughes up. That shit was uh that shit was kind of crazy. I seen Maxie was trying at first. He he throwing more punches than he normally throw. He like, damn, okay, okay, I'm I'm doing it. I'm keeping him off for a little bit. By like two, three, that shit was over with. It was over with. Whitewash, tidal wave, and came, crashed over that motherfucker and took him out to sea. That shit was crazy. But uh Speak, I heard y'all talking Ohio Box, and I heard somebody, didn't your man's Michelle Rivera, who, he, I heard he signed the Salida, right? Up here, around yeah. my way in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Hey, Bingo. We got hey, that. <laughs> hey, I know it don't make sense. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit didn't make sense when I heard it. I but mean, I'm it, like, don't, it, don't, it only makes sense because he believes, like, because I'm on the zone, I could get a fight with Matias somehow, but we'll see. Hey, we'll see. But fuck it. If he over there, if he in the Midwest, I got to fight for him. Let's throw him in there with Montana Love on the zone one time. See what he got. I know Montana Love coming off the little knockout and shit. Let's see what if Rivera can keep that trend going, if he can put him away and whatnot. 
But you know, Midwest city, I figure he in the Detroit area, Montana Love in Ohio, might as well fuck it. It's something that y'all can just drive up the road, get the paperwork together and get that shit made. You feel me? And then I, I seen your man's uh Blair the Flair some more Ohio shit. If you want another Ohio <laughs> fight, he signed a Don King have... on some crazy I was shit. Just... Yeah, I was about to say we can get that Adrian Broner fight. Yeah, that's Bingo. what he's he getting. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly, allegedly. Hey. Allegedly, hey, man. It's, it's the only thing that makes sense to be signing with Don King. I ain't gonna hold you. What the fuck else could he be doing? That shit wouldn't make no, it wouldn't make no other type of sense. Bro, the sad part is they're them. gonna go straight to Don King pay-per-view. That's the thing. Like A fight like that needs to be picked up by a real... You know what I'm saying? Distributed, broadcasted, yeah. like that shit crazy, but yeah, that's very crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The fact that they... <laughs> damn, they're gonna be charging for that's out of control, man. Don King, man, Ohio run boxing, man. He gonna get... hey, we gonna get our money around this motherfucker. You understand? If we ain't gonna do nothing else, we gonna get that motherfucking dollar. You hit me? But uh, shout out TBV, shout out Toledo, Ohio, man. We got Albert Bill, March 22nd here in the city, Glass City Center. Damn, March 29th, we got O'Shea Jones in Atlanta, O-T-E. Yeah, y'all know what the fuck going on. Oh, oh yeah, Jerry, we ain't forgot about you. April 13th, go ahead and put hands and feet on that motherfucker there. Herkovich, we on your ass like a diaper rat. Yeah, y'all be cool, man. Shout out to Toledo, Ohio. Y'all know what the fuck going on. All right. Shout out to Trees. We got shout out to Jay shout Billy. Out to the Ohio. Hey man, shout out Fremont, Ohio, man. I've been out there. Fall there. That's where I fall snow at. Eric Snow? No, I, don't, I think Angelo Snow. Oh. Eric Snow from Cam. No, I thought it was Eric Snow from Game of Thrones. No, I don't watch TV. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Appreciate yo, you being patient, my yo. guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out Nurse Danny Marco, Troy putting in that motherfucking work. So let's get to the topic real quick. I need y'all to peep the play with me, man. Peep the play with me. So Oscar said maybe a month ago, we're ready for that Shakur fight. He's talking about Zapata. Is Zapata going to take that fight? He's backed himself into a corner now. Oscar, honestly, he really backed himself into a corner. Because if you don't take the Shakur fight and you're trying to go the Loma route, Bob not going to give you Loma. This is Shakur's last fight on his Bob or whatever deal he has. This is his last fight, correct? Mm-hmm. So, to entice Shakur to resign, they got to give him Loma. Loma and Shakur has always been the plan. Bob has always wanted to give Loma to Shakur. Haney kind of messed up those plans, you feel me? But Bob had to hop on that, get that on ESPN Plus. You feel me? So Loma has always been the play for Shakur. So why would – and then unification is Trump mandatory. So I don't feel like that mandatory holds too much weight when Shakur is incorporated into the conversation. You feel me? So I don't know, dog. I, he, has to, he has to go this route. He has to, like, cut in front of Loma because I don't think he's going to – even if he's the idea of mandatory – we know Bob wants to make that Shakur Loma unification. It's been that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like they're, they're really backed into a corner. Oscar's really going to have to, you know, stand on business. You feel me? Or was you really talk? What do you mean backed into a talk corner? Haven't you been listening to the show? Look, this is what I've said. And then tell me what, what I'm wrong about. I'm saying Oscar already said about a month ago, we're ready for that Shakur fight. Shakur, uh -huh. whenever you're ready. No, 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 no. When Shakur retired, this is what happened. Shakur no, retired. I, I, I he said, just go ahead that. and drop the belt. Yeah, 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 you're right. So he said, drop the belt. You know, we want the belt. So then I'm pretty sure he doubled down and said, we'll fight Shakur. But now that you got the IBF mandatory, you can't go the Loma route because Bob already wants to make Loma and Shakur. So he's not going to give Zapata Loma before he gives him to Shakur. But, just like I was saying with on, Frank and Shakur champ, and Tank. Champ, champ, talk to champ, me, talk champ, to me, talk to champ. me. Slow down, slow down. You do remember Shakur turned down the offer, right? With Loma? No, with Top Rank. Yeah, but we know where is he gonna go? Realistically, man, where is he gonna go? Well, all I know is as of today, as of today, he he he's not. Moves. 
he is not uh, taking the offer, and he only has this July fight left with Todd Brand. Well, he's still on the contract. I was about to say Bob is still speaking for him, so it got to be something, but he's still on the contract, so I understand it. Yeah, for but one fight. Was, for one fight. Right, J- yeah, July yeah, facts, fight. facts, facts. 100%, 100%. He's under contract for this last fight, so Bob has to speak for him. But I feel like if he wasn't planning to resign, Bob isn't stupid, so he'll try to his best to get that belt before Shakur walks off. So he'll push Shakur in his toughest matchup that he can be in. Is the pay to his toughest fight yet? Yet, yes. But it's not that but tough Chan, last fight. No, listen. If he loses to Zepeda, that doesn't help Bob. Zepeda is with 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 with, with Golden Boy. It don't help Bob. You know well, you gotta think about it like this, fam. It's it's, it's like some mob shit. You know? I don't want to say gang shit, but it, it's really like that. What hurts you helps me. You feel me? You leaving me? What hurts you helps me. So if you leave me without a belt, I'm cool. You feel me? If you leave me with the shit I gave you, I, 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 I think, bless you I think with he, this shit. I think he's doing it more because, you know, if he co-promotes, it's, it's two people taking the hit versus one. And it's his it's his last fight. So, again, he don't So have you think it's a, it's a money thing? You think it's a money thing? I mean, it's just a strategic thing, bro. Like, I'm not going to give you mm-hmm. Loma so that you could beat Loma and leave with a belt and, and a legendary name. Like, you have to re-sign on paper to get a Loma fight. Of course. Of course. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what we're on the same page with that. I feel like that Loma think, fight is going to entice. Because... They're trying to entice. No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. They're trying to entice him with but, the Loma but, fight. Champ. To, no, no, guarantee. let me finish. Let me finish because this is why you're not understanding. Let me finish. But, They're trying to entice. All right, why can't they guarantee it to him? Why do you feel like that? The same reason they couldn't guarantee Benavidez Canelo, bro. You can't guarantee any fighter that he's going to fight you. Like that, these dudes but change their that's mind. That's way different. That's no, way it's different. Not. No, it's not. Not. It's way... Listen, no, it's not. Listen, a fighter has a right to say no. Yeah, I got to go. But yeah, no, it's not way different, bro. Like, it's very difficult. To guarantee a person a fight. Like, they got to go to Loma first and get that okay. And is Loma going to want that? Or is Loma going to want a unification with Navarrete? Or a fight with Zepeda? Like, I don't think y'all get that. But uh, that seems to be all the callers. Let me see what we got here. Yep. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'll be right back. In 15 minutes to get this other little quick breaking news show out, and that'll go however long it goes. Uh, Till then, catch me on the next one. Arriva Dirch.